Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to write on a path in Photopea. So the first path that I'm going to write on is a rectangular shape path. So I'm going to need a rectangle for this. So down the left hand side in the shapes tool I'm going to choose rectangle. Before you drag on your rectangle you must change it to a path. I've just done this as a little practice and I'd already changed it. But it will be set to shape by default. You're going to need to go into this little section up here, choose path. Okay, then drag it on. And what you'll notice is that it doesn't draw a rectangle shape. It's not filled in and it hasn't got a, um, a stroke to it. It's a path shaped rectangle, which is what we want. Now, down this left hand side again, I'm going to choose my text tool and I'm going to make my choices of fonts, colors and sizes. You can always change those later, but you might as well do them at the beginning. And then the next thing you need to know is that you must click on the path don't click in the middle, don't click outside, click on the path. So I've clicked on the path, I can now type on the, ooh, I'll even call it, the rectangular path. Okay, full stop. Okay, so this is, this is looking good, isn't it? Okay, it's not looking great. My text is not maybe where you want it to be. But don't worry, we can fix that down the left hand side just underneath the text tool about two under okay is the path select so i'm going to click on path select make sure path select is selected and then what you're looking for on the path is that square there now when i click on it it's going to create two new icons two little symbols a circular for the end text path and a cross for the start text path and i'll show you what they look like now so I'll click on it and drag and I've got a circle, but can you see there's a little cross? It's been left behind because I'm moving the circle. But can you see there's a little cross? That circle is actually the end path. So I'm going to position my end path there. Then I'm going to go back to my cross and I'm going to move that. That's the start of my path. So I'm going to put the start of my path there. Okay. Then I can go back to my text tool and I can double click on the text. Oops, there we go. I can double click on the text and I can choose whether I want it to align left and it's looking to aligning to where the start point is, center it between the start and the end point or align right so it aligns to the end point. Well, I'll stick it in the center because that makes sense. Uh, be careful when you're writing on a path that it doesn't chop your text in half, it, your words in half, it doesn't look great. So you will have to tinker about with it, maybe change the size, just make sure you focus on getting it readable as well as looking good, okay? Now, you may notice when I was clicking on the path, so I'm going to get on my path select tool again, and I'm going to click on that start point and just, just have another little play. You might notice that it, it went on the inside there. Now, you can do that, so you, you don't have to just type on the outside edge of the path. If you click on the start or end point and move your cursor to the inside, it drags the text onto the inside, okay? So that's just a little option for you, just so you know that it exists. Right, on this next one, I'm gonna do the same with a similar shape, but this time it's a circle, and I'm going to click a perfect circle. So at this point, I'm gonna teach you how to click, create a perfect circle. Remember to make sure, I almost forgot then, remember to make sure that your circle is a path, okay? Change it from shape to path. Make sure that's selected. Put your cursor in the middle or where you think the middle of the page is then click shift alt and then click and when you click it will it creates a perfect circle okay so i've got the perfect circle path i can now go down to the text tool i can change the fonts to something else um, i'll change the color of this one now to blue that's okay and i'm going to click on the path. Remember, you don't, it doesn't matter where you click because you're going to move it later. So I'm going to click on the path and I can now type on a circular path. Okay, full stop. I'm now going to go down to the left hand side and I'm going to choose my path select tool and I'm looking for that square. Can you see? There it is. I'm looking for it. When I click on it, it splits it into two my start and my end. It always gives me my end point first, the one that when you click it gives you the end point. I'm going to put the end point there, then I'm going to drag the start point over to 
here and it's already centered up between the two start and end points because if you remember when I double click on that text I'd already selected it before but I could have it left aligned, centered or right aligned. Okay next one what if you don't want a rigid shape like a square or a circle what if you wanted a more free shape well you can so underneath your text tool is the free pen tool you've got your pen tool and the free pen tool so you could use your free pen tool to draw a line okay oh look what i did when i drew it look at it up here it's a shape i see I keep telling you and i didn't do it myself so i'm going to go back in time i'm going to make sure that i've chosen path i want a path not shape so now i'm going to draw it again there we have it there's our path go down to the text tool click on the path this is how you type on a path full stop again it's looking a bit crazy there but i think that's because the start and end point in the wrong place but don't worry about that we can fix it can't we right so i'm going to click on path select i'm looking for the square where is it it's there and I'm going to click on it and it's giving me my endpoint first. So I'm going to drag my endpoint somewhere there. And then, oh, it's actually giving me my start point. There's my endpoint. There's my start point. Get the start point there and there. And there's my endpoint. I'm now going to go into my text tool, double click on it, make sure it's centered, and it's now centered between my start and my end point okay and that's pretty much it i reckon you can do this have fun